Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through some steps that I use to apply liquid mask along with the tools, products, and techniques that I use to achieve professional painting results. Now for the liquid mask itself, my go-to product is liquid masking film from Bob Dively. This product works great on Lexan car bodies. It's easy to work with, it cleans up with warm water, it self levels, and it makes for great cutting when you're cutting your designs on the body. One of the most common questions I get about liquid masking is what's the best way to apply it to the body? And this right here is one of the easiest, simplest, and most cost-effective tools for applying the liquid mask to get the results that you're looking for. This is a small HVLP gun that I purchased from Amazon for about $13. This is perfect for this application of using liquid mask. I don't even use an air pressure regulator when I use it. It has a small air inlet adjustment on the bottom that works great for adjusting your airflow. This gun also has a spray pattern adjustment where you can adjust from conical to fan shaped spray pattern. It works great for accessing deep ridges in the body. Important first step in applying liquid mask is making sure that the body is clean and free of fingerprints, grease, oil, and other contaminants. I use isopropyl alcohol for this process. It removes a lot of the oil, fingerprints, it won't harm the body, it's safe on the Lexan, and it evaporates quickly. It's important to use a low lint cloth or a low lint paper towel when cleaning the body. These blue shop rags are available in most auto parts stores and work great for this process as they don't leave a lot of small fibers and other dust on the body after you've cleaned it. Modern car bodies have very aggressive styling and a lot of aerodynamic features which create large ridges. It's really important when you're cleaning to access all these ridges and make sure that any oil or dust is removed as it'll help promote the adhesion of the liquid mask and the paint to follow. Now that the body's clean, it's time to start applying the liquid mask. I've added mask to the HVLP gun and I'm ready to spray and I'm going to start with a light coat. Be sure you're applying the mask evenly. It helps to use a wide fan spray pattern on the gun. I always start with a light coat so I can start the drying process and make sure that the liquid mask is adhering to the Lexan. Aerodynamic features on bodies can sometimes be very difficult to get the liquid mask to adhere to. It helps to line the spray pattern of the gun with the groove in the body. With the right air pressure and the right amount of mask, you can start to lay down an even coat. For drying the liquid mask after it's applied, I use a inexpensive heat gun purchased from a local hardware store. It has adjustable temperature settings and works great for this application. When I start to apply the heat to the body, I make sure to keep the air moving. As you're holding the body, you can feel the heat develop and you'll notice that the liquid mask turns from opaque to clear. It's important to keep the air moving and not get it too hot or it can damage the Lexan and the liquid mask itself. Here you can start to see the liquid mask beginning to dry as it changes from opaque to clear. Make sure to apply heat evenly to all areas of the body, not focusing on one spot too long. 
This first light coat of liquid mask is important as it helps the rest of the liquid mask to adhere to the contours of the body. Now that I've already applied two coats, one light for the first coat and one moderate to heavy coat for the second. After the second coat's dried, I'm applying a third and final thick coat of liquid mask to the body. It's okay if it bunches up in certain areas as it's still easy to cut through and provides clean lines. Don't worry about runs and don't worry about small chunks or imperfections in it as you can easily cut through it when you're cutting your designs. Now that I've laid down the third final coat, I'm going to start drying the body. All I'm looking to do is just start the process of drying on the final coat. Because it's thicker, it'll take a lot longer to dry. All I want to do is look for the change in color. Once that's complete, I'll go set the body inside and allow a couple hours for it to completely dry. Sometimes when you apply a thicker coat of liquid mask, you can get accumulations in the creases and corners of the body. Not to worry, it just requires a little extra dry time. Usually between six and eight hours at room temperature will do the trick. Now that we've started the drying process on the final coat, we can go ahead and leave the body inside at room temperature or a warm place where it can dry. Here's the final product. As you can see, there's no opaque areas left, and you can see a nice matte coating on the inside of the body. It should appear pretty even with no high spots. There's the matte finish you're looking for. And it'll feel rubbery to the touch. That's it for my tutorial on liquid mask. With a little bit of time and practice, you'll be able to get consistent results. Good paint jobs start with good mask. If you like the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching guys.